Fat like a day, my name is Mighty Werbo. Welcome back to more Man of Medan. And we're going to continue off where we left off um, with all our survivors still living, uh, but more ghosty goos and nonsense and bullshit happening. So I can't imagine it's going to change anytime soon. And yes, we were getting chased by um, Steve, or whatever the hell his name was. He was doing the whole um, Michael Myers. Stick, I guess. He's here. Yes, I know that. What's the matter, tree boat? Don't shut up me anymore. Can I move? No, nope, nothing yet. Oh, press the button. Oh, oh sneaky oh. hobbit says. Yeah, they caught me out there. I'm gonna slip. Slip a couple times there. No, you're fine. No, oh, no. Oh, have I got to make a choice here? Ah, oh, piss. Mm, oh, god damn it. Uh, j jump. Shit. Ooh. Did I take the wrong choice? I took the wrong choice, didn't I? Ah, uh, keep going! I probably should have fight back, shouldn't I? Oh well, this is very disjointed chase. Hey, get out of the way! Oh. Just calmly close the door on him. That was the most disjointed looking chase ever. Oh. Come on, we gotta get somewhere safe. The gang's all back together. Cool. We're back on the boat. We haven't got the uh, the doodad. The doofity wants it. This is so weirdly disjointed. This the whole cutscenes. Here. We're good, I think. But exactly, are you basing that on? <laughs> oh, is it? Could I? Oh, I could have just left this in the last episode. Oh, hello. Hello, curator. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual. Uh -huh. Wouldn't you say? No, hallucinogenic, more like. Well, you're gonna start shouting at me and make me feel bad for. Making the right choices? I assume I've made the right choices. Nobody's dead, so... I, for one... Have you figured out what's going on? Yes. How to stop it? No. How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? That's questionable. You will, I hope. Eh. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to... Uh, clearly. Quite a lot of deaths that night. And? Let me help you out. No. Nope. Give you a little hint. No, nope, I don't want to hear your hints. I don't want spoilers. Shut your hole. No hint. Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Nope. Good luck with that. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. I told you I didn't want to hint. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Any more? Go on. Back to it. Speak soon. What tragedy has befallen me so far? Obviously, apart from being, you know, taken hostage by a band, a group of three pirates in the middle of the ocean. I feel like it's not that difficult to fight back because there's five of us. What the hell is wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking... Come on, no... No, come on, that's ridiculous. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like... Like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw... It's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That... 
Doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy, like dinosaur old. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? So the... This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? No. I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Um... Where's the gold? Yes, where's the gold? That's... Where's the... the fifth floor. Am I crazy or are, are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? Yes. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know what was Alex the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. Uh, probing. What do you think actually happened to this place? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. I found a logbook belonging to one of the crew. Sounds like the ship went through a real rager of a storm. <laughs> Where's the gold? This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. Stinky. And I don't like it. Ew. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. <laughs> they are determined to show. You know what? Fine. Just because you keep bringing it up. Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now. And. The mystery continues. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. The Duke. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Yeah, it's easy enough. What could possibly go wrong? So yeah, when Alex was running with, with, with herself, what was he seeing then? Was he seeing anything or was he just running because she was running? Oh, a bit strange. No, 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 I don't want you to go that way. You will pay attention to my directions. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. There, yeah, we're fine. We know he's been dis decapitated or disemboweled or discombobulated. So it's all fine. That's a big bullet. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. It's quite possible. Where's the sprint button? There's no sprint button. Where's the, the hurry the fuck up button? Because for somebody who's determined to get off pretty sharp as you're kind of ambling about. I mean, I'm not doing much to help, but just kind of exploring everything. Ooh, we're dead. This hum's hard to have a boat. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Well, then patch it up with a. I don't know. Something. Okay. As always, we're gonna walk towards the camera. Hey, let's go. Nope, nothing over here. Don't get out of the. Let's keep going. It's up here. It's a nice ceiling. Any more Doom po photos or pictures or whatever you want to find a way up? Sadly, no, the but. Stairs? I'll keep my eyes open. I'm going to push Conrad off the side. It was a ghost, I swear. What this? Go and boo! Come on now. You're not even trying anymore, are you? Uh, 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 excuse me. Pick that back up. I wasn't done reading it. 
Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout, gas, gas, gas. We go and step on a gas. No, no, no. To warn anyone in the vicinity, hold your breath. Two, attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with the, both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull this mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Why do you keep jittering? This is just my eyesight. Remove the potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air into the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hands and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug, then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure that there are no leaks. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Let go of the hose. You may now breathe as you normally would. Replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. You may now remove your mask only when you are told it is safe and instructed to do so. Show? So. Prize the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply and pushing any potentially trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask with flexible corrugate hose in the, to the carrier bag as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it is no longer required by unfastening the belt and shoulder sling. Gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. Uh -huh. Guy's just chilling in the box. I mean, the gas mask didn't help him when it came to the crazies, so... What does that mean for us? Ooh, look, it's something up. I knew there'd be an up. All right, just give me the boost. Hey, a little help over here. He's gonna push my big ass up onto this bit. I think this is our way up. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Give me a lift. <laughs> You're gonna help? Just mm. one person? <coughs> All right. I'll pull you up. <laughs> Alex and Fliss. He's leaving the rest of them down there. No, no, we're all pull them, pull them all up. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Yay! I can truly get like, wee. Why am I using a torch when it's daylight and we're outside? Fine. We have infinite batteries, unless we are hiding or in the dark. Then the batteries all of a sudden will decide that they no longer wish to work. Because this is a horror game. That's what horror batteries do. They're completely, uh, completely ineffective when you need them most. Look over here. Nope. All right. Let's keep going then. This is a boat. You're right, Fliss. This is where I chased Conrad before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Is it? Ooh. <gasps> Is it locked? We're gonna get a jump scare again. Over here. Got a way through here. Well, I mean, it's closed, so if you can't open it, it's not really a way through, is it? Oh, oh. Rrr. Like the fact that, well, I suppose there wasn't enough, wasn't really enough room for two people to push it up. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Where's the door I just came through? <gasps> Look! It's herself! How is the family? How is the children? How is the wife? Ah, he's always a quiet one, that one. So, oh, oh, death picture. Whose turns at this time? All right. Um, why do I care about him? Should I? Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I mean, it's a ghost ship that's just appeared from the 19th. 
Brad, now is not the time. This. Ooh, logbook. What sort of stories are they telling? Huh. Last log shows them caught in a storm. Swell from the wet weather, I'm guessing. Waves 20 feet, no damage reported. PM, weather continues to deteriorate. As does forecast. Crew bearing up. AM wind at storm force. Gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water but it is under control. Navigator. Ports. Seabed depth. Readable. Operational logs for SS Urang. AM. Sea going down. Noon. Thick fog. PM. Increasing head. PM. AM. 7.30. Fog is very thick. Midnight p.m. Dense fog continues. So are we on the Orang? Orang. Let's just pop that down. That was a nice story. Pin it over here. It's worth looking at this log. Alright. Well, that was worth it. Now, do I go back out here? Because everybody's in here. So if I go this, no, no, this way, this way, buddy. There's just a hole there, isn't there? Yeah, there's just a hole in the floor. Oh well, okay. It looks like it is this way we're going. Old action man here is gonna kick down any door. So I'm guessing it's here. Oh wait, because there was. Well, we'll try this door. There was the other way. So yeah, I thought that would be locked. All right, that's fine. All right, Brad. Bradley. Going this way. Nothing over here. Ooh, this is another death picture. No. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Hmm. Like they had some sort of chemical weapon on board. Ooh, achievement. For a dollar, he told me his secrets. I beg your pardon? Has Alex been possessed? The hell was that all about? <laughs> Ooh, piece of paper. What did this say? Uh, ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Heavy storm. Report of hold too flooded. Excessive lightning strikes. Adrift in shallow waters. Location unknown. Seabed depth believed uncharted. Unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. They called it off after eight minutes. Hmm. That's not even close to where I was telling you to go. I'm pretty sure Alex has been possessed at this point. I might consider that the radio is still going. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday, call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent, attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Hmm, sounds pretty desperate. I die. That's a... <laughs> Final message to the world. I die. Take a look. No other. No freaking way. No other power this in this ship. This thing actually still works. But the radio well, does. Radio science hasn't changed much in seventy years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Yes. Uh, that way. All right, I can only go one way. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... That... Sounded... Like... Brad. If you can hear us, we're on a Didn't ship. It? An old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, I 20 minutes don't west. don't believe this radio Please, is still working. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. Hmm. We're on 
this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please come in. Oh, look, the power went out. How convenient. Yo, guys. Hey. Check it out. A girt big hole in the floor. I'll stand around it in a This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Um, you know what? Let's encourage him. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. It's like they're having two different conversations. It's like... All right, well, that happened. Well, if he didn't have tetanus before, he's gonna need one now. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? Uh, we're okay. We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. What that? Here. What? Um. That just happened to be sitting there. The lighter from the forties. Hey. After you. It's rock and roll. This way. Wait, hang on. This... This way? No, not that way. This way. I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna pick. If I miss... If I miss secrets, I miss secrets. Sick bay. Oh, wait. We're gonna visit, um... Bugger lugs was... was poop. With this. Some sort of altercation. And that Private Charles Anderson on leave from duty to display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the US Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men would return to their ship. Ten days on the brig. Wow. Brig ten days approved. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. I mean, he did punch the guy. Well, the, the, the commanding officer did punch his lights out. Ooh, we're doing another bit of paper. So was it, did I read this stuff at the beginning, or did I miss this? Arthur Miller, Perry Theft, Day 1, Briggs, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, items recovered and returned to owner. David Davis, private, trespass, two days, Brig found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Louis... Lewis Brand, public intoxication, one day Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication, one day Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US personnel on Yeah, okay, everybody's drunk and horny. Intoxication, brawling, Joseph huh. Roberts, public... I guess there was a guy named Joe in sickbay? Uh, yeah, it was. He was in the sickbay. And he found a man hiding in the... Locker, I fully expected some kind of jump scare there. Ooh, there's another one. 
What's this? Medical officer's report. Minutes of meeting between scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer. With Sergeant Peter Wood observing and X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing. The Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we are unable to... Describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens, codenamed Mancurian Gold. Chemical munitions battle. It was, even relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Men, highly convincing, subjects seeing and hearing things that were really not there. Even the danger is manifold and in its intensity. Wait, so they... Did they purposely infect the whole ship with it? Or was it a case that they were using it on, which would explain why they were telling to sedate me, or, or Joe? I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I know, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Uh, no, it was, I'm gonna go in here, it's the sick bay here, wasn't it? No. We'll go this way. Because I saw something. Oh, no, no, that's a wall. And, no, this is a sick bay. It says the big sign, it says sick bay. Yeah, and there's the lads. Yeah, there's the 40. Still there. Hmm. Might have been the son of somebody on board. Well, I'd hope so. Otherwise, it's a bit creepy to have a framed picture of a child next to your sick bay. Oh! And he's still there. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Betty. And I still can't do anything with him. He's fine. He just sleep it off. But what's this? What's this, I say, that I couldn't pick up before? Pri patient name John Patterson. Private. Relic, Texas. February 24th, 1922. Enlisted or appointed in Garland, Texas. Date March the 2nd, 1941. Total Army service. Three years, five months. History of case diagnosis, mild neurosis. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of duty. That's an interesting way of spelling duty. Existed prior to enlistment? No. Present condition fit for service. Probable future duration temporary. Recommendation that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw Private Patterson today who attended sick bay. During that time, that visit, I observed several signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic. I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical conditions and an exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and tests for speech reactions, memory and decision we can all appear normal. Clear case of COSR. What is COSR? And why should I care? Alright, we're done in here. Let's go to the next place. She's already waiting. At least I hope that was her. Nope, we're not going in here yet. We're exploring. Anything exciting? No, nothing exciting. Well, that was a waste of time. Alright, we're here now. Let's rock and roll. We'll ignore the ladder. Alright, we can't ignore the ladder, because... Yeah, the hell is that? Here, come check this out. The ladder's going to break when they come down, aren't they? Look, down there. What is it, the floor? Oh my god. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? What makes you think the generator would still be functional? The ship's like 70 years old. I was broken off here. I think I can just... Break. Wait. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. And how do they plan on getting back up? We're here now. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... Alright, fair enough. What? That got me. Did you see it? Um, hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. 
We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This well, that's have good. anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal, we know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage. And for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Yeah, I feel like that's the sums up of the Oh, God. <laughs> let's roll into the hallucinogenic crazy ship. Ooh, we're dead. Van London Engine Works, Rotterdam, Netherlands. Diesel engine number 1734, year 1920. That's a nice engine. That's a good engine. That means fuck all to me. Can I pull the levers? Press buttons? You know I miss right now? Food? Dry clothes? Shoes? Yeah. Uh, bed? Uh, people that aren't trying to kill you? Um, places that you're not going to get tetanus from walking in? Um, stop me when I get it. Maybe some kind of fancy hat? I don't know. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, thank God. Alright. And it's working! Very convenient. Yeah, this is it, alright. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Oh, what's gonna happen? Uh, boom! Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! We need help, now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over! Recovery mission is en route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Oh, come on, work, damn it! Was that real, then? Or was that a hallucination? Don't you swing about your fancy ass or your old-fashioned torch and be like that. Just because I got a cheap shitty one from a Christmas cracker. I'm surprised it hasn't decided to stop working. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have bought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Uh, oh. Leave it. Yeah, fuck it. Dead weight. Oh, I've made a mistake there. No, I haven't. Olsen, that was his name. Nerd. He's tied up. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Ta gueule. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh, fuck. What was the point in untying him? Cars. Hey, buddy. Don't mind us staring at you. It looks dank gas. Huh? 
Ah, oh. Shh, look at it, he's coming. He's right in front of us. Bye, bear. Don't see it. Yeah, let's go into the stank room. And close the door. Even better. Let's lock ourselves into the stank room. Hey, Betty. You alright? Nice spill you took there, bro. Why would he do this? Well, you've just talked about being. Be very careful. It's crazy as a shit house, Brad. You've literally just said that we're on a ship that's a walking, a floating bioweapon with hallucinogens on it. What a part of that won't result in somebody getting stabbed. Top secret, come up. Uh, uh, inspect. Oh, that, uh, I mean, now he's not the, oh my God. I feel like there's more important. Holy shit. There's no way, wait, did they lock that, but they didn't, they didn't take the, the doodad. They never let me read my, my note. I wanted to read the note. I feel like I may have made There's no use hiding. Oh, he's got it. You little fuck. Fuck. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around. More than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? I don't feel like you're a very good at this ball. You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here to die. Yes. But I am the captain. I am the captain now. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes. I'm the one who knocks. He's breathing down our necks. Shush. Please tell me you have an escape plan. We can't risk moving. We can't risk moving yet. Just have to watch and wait for an opening. I don't understand how they're not, he's not hearing this. Ah, the smug Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is I'm mine. sorry, how is he not seeing? I'm the one who gets to smash. <laughs> Never yeah. smash. With my big fucking armor. I feel like people are idiots. There's this nice little monologue, he chucked his hammer about, we whispered loud enough to wake the dead and he still didn't hear us and then he left. And we still haven't got the doodad for the boat. I was going to say, you remember trying locking it now? Are we safe? Please tell me we're safe. Oh. No. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors are bent to withstand all sorts of... Boom! Stuff. I don't know. What the... Oh. Okay. Okay. None of you move. Engineer. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. You been? Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Where is he? Raise your hands up. There's no slow. Does he just stand in there, kind of watching them? No, no. Not like that. Where did I he said? No changing. <laughs> Please, we've got no problem with you. Standing there watching them, they even noticed them. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me. What? What's changing? Stay away. Stay back from the mist. See the one that. What? 
Pop so himself. Don't miss, man. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist. Yes, we're aware of that now. Uh, why can't we breathe the mist? Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathe in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Brad's gonna jump in front of her. Uh, worried. Okay, all, all right. Look, I, there was you know something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or a fog. Maybe. I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. Uh, desperate. No. No. Look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. Come to Hammer, bro. You've been holding your breath this whole time? Yes. You're holding your breath right now? Yes. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Sure. I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. Oh. Ah, we're at time. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. I probably should have left. Stop. I've stopped lying. Probably should have just left him to have popped himself. You can all see it in me, can't you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we're not changed anything. No, just lying. The mist is inside. Could be worse. Could be the best. <laughs> What's with the torch? Hey man, come on, just put the boom. Good night. Oh fucking shit. Oh well, two down, one to go. And survivors are still or survivors, the the divers shit. are still going strong. I feel like that would be useful in your fight against the uh, hammer swielding nut job that's after you. Who seems to have just gotten bored and wandered off, I guess. Alright, we back to. Oh, at least we're going to start necking on now. Alright, Alex, what's, what's Big Man on campus? What's plan we buy the radio why I'm gonna check the next level there might be some more gear down there we can use uh I'm not going far just wait by the radio I'm gonna hang back here as well yes you can shag I'm sure How, how, I get that he has a wonky eye, but how is he not seeing me? Does this look like he's superhuman or anything? Just run up to him and just clout him in the back of the head. Blitz, come here. How? Stay by the radio. We need someone to keep listening. Aye, aye, Cap. Is everybody deaf? I saw the, the the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. I see a shadowy figure but in the background. Can I go this way? I can. Do I want to walk this way? Is the question. <laughs> I'm very close to the camera. Hey, it's good. 
Oh. Am I doing a bad thing going this way? Walking towards the shadowy figure in the background. There's nothing here. Alright, well. That was a big bust. So what are we doing? Okay, m move, move. What are you doing? Mutiny. Hey, Alison. Need a hand with something? You got piles? This must have been what we just heard. Yeah, I feel like Olsen's not. Oh no, what's that? It doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. It's just, it's literally just a dude with a hammer. He will come this way. He's not some super mythical being with him. You know, incredible strength and incredible, you know, Michael Myers bullshit, Jason Voorhees nonsense. It's just bum rush him. Holy crap! Look at that shit. What shit? What are we looking at? I don't see anything exciting. There's, there's nothing here. What, what are we supposed to be looking? At? What are we supposed to be looking at here? I, I don't. Put the hole in the ground. There he is. There he is. Hey. We think we can make it across. Why are you whispering? Sure. These people baffle and amaze me. Stanky gas. Well, he dropped his hammer. We're getting another scare here. The camera's moving slow. Heartbeat started. He's having a heart attack. Well. I'm not gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Of course you do. Well, can I not just, can I, let's go, let's go say hi to Olsen. Olsen, buddy, you all right? Get a bit of heartburn, indigestion, you all right? Now this orchestra that's following me is not doing me any favors. How are you? Ghosts! Is Alex already. Is Brad dead? Can we. Can we. Gosh. What's over here? Another jump scare? I hope so. Oh, Olsen's getting eaten by rats. That didn't take long. Fuck! <laughs> oh. It really didn't take long. Oh, can I just swoop Look in there? That. <laughs> time to just get lucky. going to grab it. It's going to grab my wrist. Rawr! And then, and then collapse. Excuse me, rat. You cute little fella. Oh, I'm throwing the poor rat against the wall. See, the rats are angry at you there for being a dick to them. They just want to be friends. Well, there goes also. The rats are rising up. This is what happens, you were addicted to them. Just leave! Why are you being so melodramatic about this? Hey, how's it going? What did I do? Oh! 
<laughs> God damn! Is this the thing that's causing people to have heart attacks? Is that I like get the fuck with you? Go, oh. go, you lousy bastard! Never get your shit. Where you bitch? You goofy looking ass. Well, that was disappointing. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh, who have I stabbed? Oh. <laughs> With a certain inevitability, it was bound to happen. Well, balls. <laughs> oh, I think you'll find it is her. I was doing so well. Well then. Are we going to the... Where is what's happening now? Oh, it's better up at the end of the game. If I reached the end of the game and managed to... Get somebody killed right at the very end. Is that what's happened here? He didn't seem too bothered when he left. Is this the end? I'm guessing this is the end. Okay, I guess it's time to see if it's working. They don't even have a question where she is. What happened to her? Um, I don't know. Who's that? What was that? That fucker that took her boat. I thought there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Venturian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense. You know? Just. And I know what I saw. I just don't believe in whatever it was that I saw. No one bringing up Fluss at I all. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex. It was someone else. Oh, but they look just like Alex. And he was sneering at me. Also, yeah, Conrad kind of just took a backseat to everything at the end there, didn't he? So, um, I found this. I can't believe it. I got right the way through most of the game and right at the end, I cocked it up. <laughs> I should have known better that nothing was, I would say it was real. Hey V. Anything else? Oh. Just gonna guilt trip me one last time.
what was that? Okay. I don't think that had the uh, effect you were hoping it did. Right, you button. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. Mm. Could always try again. See if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. <laughs> Almost everyone survived. Shut up, you. Almost. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. I don't think I've found any of those long-term ones because that, that run out at the end was more of a in-the-moment decision as opposed to anything that was kind of... Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope. Maybe somewhere else. Little but hope. be certain. We will meet again. It's I'm sure we will. Inevitable. All right, Agent Smith. So yes, Little Hope is the next in the series of games. We're just going to skip the right entirely. Um, I'm just going to repeat the same name. We're lying over and over again. Okay, yes, so that is the end. Oh. Oh, I don't envy you, buddy. Okay, now the military's here, landing on a bioweapon. This is going to end well for them. Are they gas masked up? Hello? Housekeeping. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real-life ghost ship here. <laughs> Gonna find Fliss's dead body. This is necessary. Whoa. What the hell is this? I don't feel this is particularly necessary to finish the game off. Maybe it is, I don't I don't know. gonna find a body or he's still wondering about alive so what the fuck <laughs> okay <laughs> there we go I just saw someone in the woods whoever it was they're gone this is... okay very good oh is there? this is the little hope Trailer. <laughs> well, Angela's had better days. So yes, Little Hope is the next game in the series um, that I will eventually get around to playing. But yes, never mind that. We're talking about Man of Medan. Are you, no more cutscenes or no more extra bits? Nope, we're done. Yes. So Man of Medan. As a whole, it was fine, I guess. Um, I don't know. It, it was nowhere near as good as Until Dawn. Until Dawn was a lot better. It was it was janky. It was really... The, the, the people in it weren't as unlikable as they were in Until Dawn, but they, none of the conversations they seemed to have with each other seemed to mesh at all. The jump scares, yes, a couple of them got me. A lot of them were really predictable. And it just kind of fell on its ass at the end there. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say I regret buying it, but at the same time, it's not probably a game I will pick up again. But anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching. Remember always, keep it keep it heavy. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>